Hey everybody and welcome to Motivational Monday where you can learn how simple shifts in your habits can lead to profound results in the way that you feel and in the way that you look. Today we're going to be talking about foods that you can include in your diet to help you with your eyesight. So whether you have macular degeneration or cataracts or any problems with your vision, you'll want to stay tuned for today's video. The two most important nutrients with regard to your eye health are lutein and zeaxanthin. These are powerful carotenoid antioxidants that are, exist in certain foods. They exist together in certain foods and they congregate or they concentrate in certain areas of your eyes like the lens, the retina, and the macula. And by getting sufficient amount of these nutrients into your body, it helps protect those areas of your eyes from degeneration. So you want to look primarily for foods that contain those two antioxidants, but there are other nutrients that are important as well. In addition to lutein and zeaxanthin, other nutrients that you want to consider are foods that are rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, zinc, selenium, and omega-3 essential fatty acids. So we're going to go through some foods today that are going to be beneficial for you to include in your diet if you have a family history of any sort of macular degeneration or cataracts or if you're struggling with either of those conditions yourself. So the first food you want to include are avocados. Avocados happen to be very rich in lutein, so that makes them fantastic. They're also a really great source of glutathione, and glutathione is the master antioxidant that protects your liver, and there's been studies that show that the, the health of your liver is directly linked to the health, health of your eyesight. So you want to include avocados not only for the lutein quality, but for the glutathione quality as well. In addition, the monounsaturated fats are great for your cardiovascular system and have loads of other benefits as well. The next food are carrots because carrots are a great source of vitamin A. I happen to really enjoy these purple carrots because purple is my favorite color, but whatever color carrot you use, including them regularly into your diet would be fantastic if you have any problems with your eyes. So you can either eat them on their own as a snack, put them in salads, or even better, juice them. Juicing them would be a really nice way to get a lot of that antioxidant into your, into your cells to help benefit your eyes. The third food is broccoli. So broccoli contains lutein and zeaxanthin, those two really important nutrients I mentioned earlier. It's also a great source of vitamin C and sulforaphane. And sulforaphane is a very potent antioxidant that's not only good for your eyes, it's really good for your lungs. So here's a tip about broccoli. Not only eat the head because the florets, because that's amazing for you, but the stalks are a great thing to save and then juice, add it to your green juice and get all that great nutrition right out of the stalk. It contains a lot of concentrated nutrients, so don't just waste it. If you don't have a juicer, you can peel off the hard bark and just chop it up and throw it into a saute or add it to your salads or however you want to use it, but using the entire head of broccoli would be fantastic for you and that would be your next food. The next food are tomatoes. So I happen to get these tomatoes out of my mom's garden and they're so beautiful and they're almost purple. Um, anyway, tomatoes contain vitamin C and lycopene, two very important powerful antioxidants that are great for your eyes as well. Food number five are eggs. So eggs contain some vitamin D, some vitamin A, some lutein, and they also contain lecithin, which is an emulsifying agent that helps to break down cholesterol deposits in your body. So including eggs on a regular basis gives you great nutrition and also has benefits across the board. The next two foods, I don't have a prop for because I just didn't happen to have it today, but it's are kale and spinach. They're both a great source of lutein and zeaxanthin and vitamin A. So including kale in your diet or spinach in your diet or the two of them combined, like in a juice or in a salad, would be a fantastic way to get those three key nutrients that would be great to help protect your eye health. The next food is garlic. So garlic is one of my favorite things in the world and it contains selenium which is a powerful antioxidant that has been shown to be beneficial for the eye. It's also just a great source of sulfur in general which is good for connective tissue and overall well-being and health. It's a great thing to help to lower your cholesterol but including it on a regular basis in your diet would also help protect your eyesight. And then lastly, and I don't have a prompt for this either today, is salmon. So salmon contains those amazing omega-3 beneficial fatty acids that are good for circulation and reducing inflammation in your body and a whole host of issues. So including salmon, wild Alaskan salmon, about two to three times a week, or if you're a vegan and you prefer to use things like walnuts or flax to get your omega-3 fats, then that's fine too. But with, if you're doing the vegetarian sources, you want to do them more consistently, like every day. So having omega-3 fats in your diet would be another great way to protect your eyesight. So as always, always, as you see, these are all foods that are good for so many different things and it comes down to this. If you adopt a whole foods diet, you're basically eating in a way that's not only going to protect your eyes, but it's going to protect your heart and your immune system. It, it helps create benefit across the board. 
Unlike medications, which are designed to just target one specific problem, it often causes a cascade effect of negativity that creates side effects. So you really want to see what you can do to manage your diet, eat a combination of whole foods to get as many nutrients as possible so that you can help to benefit your body across the board. Also, remember, eating these foods in combination are best, rather than just eating avocado by itself, let's say, cut up an avocado, add some tomatoes to it, maybe chop up some garlic, and make a nice little salad for yourself, and that combination will give you a nice mix of nutrients that are well absorbed. Also, you can steam up some carrots and some broccoli and have that, or you can chop up some broccoli and make like an omelet with it, but combining these foods, you'll get the best nutrition possible and the maximum absorption. So when it comes to your eyesight, the most important thing you can do is to protect it as best as you can. Once your eyesight starts, starts to change, it's very hard to return that or reverse that. You may, may be able to maintain it at a certain level if you really get in there and get aggressive about your nutrition and the way you care for yourself, but it's very hard to reverse a problem with your eyesight once it exists, Unlike, unless it's a cataract, which you can have surgically removed. So if you have eye disorders in your family, start young, start as early as you possibly can, and include these nutrient-dense foods into your diet as best you can so you can protect your eyesight for a longer period of time, if not forever. So there's another motivational tip for you and I hope you have found it helpful. If you like tips like this and you're looking for more of them, please come over to the blog at barbaramendeznutrition.com and sign up for the mailing list there. Once you do, you will receive an email from me every Monday with either a written or a video blog with some suggestion or tip, some information to help move you closer to your health goals. If you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And if you have anybody that would benefit from this information, please pass the info on to them. Thanks so much. Have a great Monday and a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.